Here we are with a really heartfelt thank you to all of our donors, our new donors and our old donors. And our anonymous donors. <laughs> and everyone who has donated and who will donate once they hear us speak again about Extreme Weather, a play that we're incredibly excited about and we can't wait to show you. And this, and this is the first time that we've had a matching grant uh, from one of our old staunch supporters and that has made a huge difference to everyone. The oil and gas industry has spent a billion dollars to keep you from knowing the truth about climate change. We're trying to raise $20,000 and we're almost there to bring you the truth. And not only the truth, but a wonderful experience because what we do is we make wonderful art that is both funny and moving and true and those are the things that people want. And need. And Thank need. Thank That's you. right. Thank you. family drama, famous, well-known, vocal climate scientist, and his twin sister who's a fossil fuel lobbyist. There's a young girl who is trying to save the environment in league with Uncle, who's an old environmentalist. You tell a responsible man that greenhouse gas emissions will destroy the planet on which they live, but the government can save us just in time. They blow their <laughs> the frustrating thing is that the solution is right there, but it requires politics in the interests of the public. All right. and, okay. that, and that's why we need you, but I can't ask for money. Can you ask for money? I don't like to ask for money. It's so hard to ask for money, but we need to ask you to donate. Yes, we need you to ask you to donate so that we can, because we cannot do it without you. I just want to compliment her on wrapping so much complexity and portraying this complexity of the climate system and weaving it in with all the complexity of human nature um, that we're dealing with. Um, and the way that she's talked about what's happening with the science and the scientists and uh, trying to get the message out about what's really happening in our, in our climate system. Um, I think she's done it masterfully in a way that I was completely enraptured and um, I truly hope that this play is produced and I was kind of hoping Steven Spielberg might have been out there because <laughs> I see it on the big screen. Your models were correct. All the significant projections have been made by you, John. I was so thrilled in the sixth grade when I learned that climate models can actually see into the future. I decided to become a scientist on the spot. <laughs> Sixth grade. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but what I think is very interesting about this play is that it, it gives you uh, a rare look at scientists as people. <laughs> the, the fire behind everything that they speak about yeah, is very no. inspiring. Actually, the play is made up of everybody who really believes that's right. in that's what true. they Which is believe in. And that's what's that's important. I mean, I mean, it's very unusual to get uh, a play these days where everybody is passionately engaged in the ideas that they're talking about. Yeah. By then, we will have learned how to fuel ourselves <laughs> on something else. Till then, I, for one, I'm going to enjoy every last burst. You're a lunkhead. There are tens of thousands of lunkheads like you with enormous financial power, greedy bullies who willfully distort the fact that there are millions <coughs> more people waking up. We can fix this, and we will. When news of the play first appeared in the science section of the New York Times, uh, we had a packed house of people 
who wanted, and the applause at the end was mm -hmm. a, absolutely amazing because it was a full house of people who really passionately wanted to hear w a play on the subject. And, and I think that that also reveals, uh, or, or one of the things that I want to see is that the play, uh, you know, uh, uh, inspires a lot of debate because, mm -hmm. because there's no public forum for the, for the issue. We must believe in miracles, my girl, because it must happen. It does. Sun, wind, and waves will provide. Tomorrow will it work. Ha <laughs> ha! Take my hands. Dance. Theater does change consciousness. In fact, art is the only thing that ever does change consciousness. Please, donate. donate. Well, first of all, I will presumptuously welcome everybody here to a celebration of hope. Because in spite of the grim news, we are celebrating hope. First of all, in the brilliant drama we have witnessed, thanks to Karen Malpeed,